Hey, what's up, people? Pizzal here, and today I've got something a little different for you guys. Instead of doing three individual reviews of these three films, I just kind of wanted to discuss each of them briefly and recommend that you guys go out and watch them because these are three of the best films that I've seen this year. And that's also kind of why I wanted to lump them together because um, it's not really been a great year for movies, I don't think. And these are the last three films that I've seen. And it's been a pretty darn good run here these last few days, seeing three of the best movies that I've seen this entire year back to back to back. I highly recommend all three. If you have the opportunity to see them, by all means, check them out and um, enjoy the rest of the video. I knew very little about Arrival going in. Paramount's marketing of the film revealed only the basic necessities. Extraterrestrials have landed on Earth. Amy Adams is trying to make contact. It appeared on the surface to be a stylish, intelligent sci-fi movie. I was sold. What's that? A trailer that didn't spoil the entire movie but instead piques your curiosity? Yeah, I know. Unheard of today. Arrival turned out to be one of the best movies I've seen all year. A riveting and powerful film with a moving surprise that I didn't see coming. Amy Adams, who deserves an Oscar nom for her performance here, carries the film with a kind of melancholy yet steadfast determination, not only to understand the alien's purpose here on Earth, but her own. Jeremy Renner, a great actor when given the opportunity to do more than just run and shoot things, and Forrest Whitaker round out a superb supporting cast. This is a great, great movie. Go and see it. Midnight Special is another sci-fi drama that perfectly balances the two genres, finding both the government and an isolated religious cult pursuing a young boy with special powers. The government thinks he's a weapon. The religious group thinks he's a messiah. Both will stop at nothing to obtain him. The movie features an excellent cast, chiefly Michael Shannon as the boys protect him at all costs father, and Joel Edgerton as Shannon's childhood friend. Jaden Lieber shines literally and figuratively as the boy Alton. Kirsten Dunst, who's excellent here, Adam Driver, and Sam Shepard round out a great supporting cast. Midnight Special is one of the most human sci-fi movies you'll see, and proves that the most special power that we possess is the ability to love without boundaries. Burned out on spook house movies yet? Under the Shadow is the story of a mother and daughter in war-torn Terran during the late 80s. The film is a fascinating and stark reminder of the evils of war and the treatment of women in the Middle East, as well as a lesson in another culture's demons. As a matter of fact, it's difficult to even classify Under the Shadow as a horror movie. The supernatural elements in the film are handled in such an understated, austere manner that you almost overlook them entirely. Director Bob Akonvari expertly creates a sense of anxiety from the very beginning, so by the time you begin hearing bumps in the night, they seem like a much-needed reprieve from the warning sirens of an incoming bombardment. Under the Shadow is a refreshing take on the Spook House movie. It leaves the viewer to wonder who's a more sinister force, demon or man. Seek it out, find it, watch it. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. If you like the video, please leave it a thumbs up. As always, thanks so much for watching, or in this case, listening. Take care, and until next time, peace.